Welcome back to Pets on Parade. This is Charlie. He was a former stray on the streets who was down on his luck and came to the Arizona Humane Society injured and in need of medical treatment. But we cleaned him up and we gave him a new home and he's living the good life now. He enjoys frequent um, lunch outings with his owner on the weekends and he is spoiled and pampered and enjoying every moment of this second chapter in his new life. Mr. Charlie, we love success stories like that. And if you have one that you would like to share, you can visit our website, azhumane.org, and click on our Love at First Sight link. Now, Madam Meow is our first kitty on this part of the show, and she's welcoming you back. Denise, this mature kitty has strong views on proper living quarters in her new home. Yes, she would like very high cat perches and lots of tuna treats. And she loves her tuna treats, and she knows which treats are the tuna treats. She had her kittens in somebody's shed. And so now that we're getting to kitten season, the chances are you may find a litter of kittens in your shed or in your backyard. And what we really want people to do is to foster those guys in place because nobody cares for baby kittens better than mama kitten. So we would like you guys to put out some water, support mama, allow her to care for her babies. And then when the babies are eight weeks old, give us a call or give our friends at the Arizona Defense League of Animals a call and we can talk to you about uh, potential adoption or possible trap neuter return program and we can definitely help you out with all of the free roaming kitties in your neighborhood. Um, also for additional information check out so many cats.org and you can help out girls here like Madame Meow and her litter of kittens. She is such a gorgeous girl, Turkish Angora, perhaps a little mix there. I love all of her markings and her laid back personality and she's got those stunning whiskers too. Thanks Denise for telling us all about kitten season and what to do with our little feline friends. Now Todd here is a workaholic who will keep going until he drops and that's typical of an active Australian Kelpie breed, right Lisa? Very typical, and we'll see if I can make it through our TV debut without him going crazy on me. He is eight months old, so he is a Kelpie and probably maybe a Shepherd. He's got kind of a Shepherd coat mix, but like I said, eight months old, everybody. This boy never takes a day off, never calls in sick. He is ready for an active family. He, he will go jogging with you. He will go hiking with you and then still play fetch in the backyard for at least an hour as long as you'll throw that ball. But Kelpies are very, very smart. We've had a lot of smart on the show today. And keeping smart breeds happy in their home, part of that is giving them a job to do. Kelpies like this would love to learn obedience. And uh, you can do all kinds of things, agility. We, are, we offer training classes at both of our facilities. And they do training on you know, basic obedience, which would be a great place to start. It's a great bonding opportunity for you and a new puppy. And uh, they, do, they do some uh, you know, private lessons. They do advanced lessons. We do canine good citizen. And his tail never stops wagging because he is ready for them all. He's looking for a committed family. He's only 27 pounds. He's not going to be a really, really big dog. He's probably only going to get maybe just a little bigger, 30, 35 pounds. But you could really impress your friends and neighbors with this guy running through the, the agility courses or taking him as a canine good citizen. But friendly, happy, and the tail never stops wagging. He is just looking for a family to please. But just make sure you are going to be ready to keep up with this energetic young boy. Perpetual motion machine, that's for sure. My friend had an Australian Kelpie that would fetch the newspaper, um, go with him every day to fetch the mail, and I think that uh, Todd here agrees with that. He would like a job like that to do. So looking for employment, Mr. Todd. Thanks, Lisa. <laughs> now, Hope was a former stray seen trotting along the road, and seconds later, he was tumbling underneath a car. Somehow, Perry, this little dog, managed to walk away from the incident with his life. Right, Ashley, five pound dog versus 2,000 pound car. That's not great odds, and this little guy is actually pretty, pretty lucky. He came away with just this little little thing on his head here, um, required some stitches in our trauma center, 
And we actually did x-ray him though, no broken bones, no other problems whatsoever with him. So he was really, really And this guy is a really cute little Yorkie or maybe even a little silky terrier mix. He's adorable. He is very, very high spirited. He's a little buzzsaw. He likes to run around. He's been very, very happy here. There's no ill effects of being hit by that car. We don't get money of these little terrier guys like in the shelter. So he's going he's to have a, a demand for him, I believe. He's very well behaved. He likes to play. He likes the other animals there. And now he's going to show off for you and just be like absolutely adorable. Look at him. How can you resist some little guy like this? He's being perfect. So um, at our trauma center where we treated him, you know, it's, it was a, kind of a minor thing, just the stitches in the head. But sometimes it's something as serious as heart problems, heart disease. We do complex orthopedic type situations. So there's all, all kind of things we do in that hospital. And they've saved over a thousand uh, lives last year just alone in, in complex cases like that. Like I said, this guy was lucky. Look at him. He's gorgeous little Yorkie Terrier. These dogs are always in demand from the shelters. And uh, we don't get a whole lot of them in. So come on down and check out little Mr. Hoke right here. If you want to make Hoke part of your family, he is available at our campus for Compassion at 3 o'clock today. And you can get more information about the pets on today's show by visiting azhumane.org forward slash pets on parade or call the number right there on your screen. Everyone have a great weekend and we'll see you next week with more Pets on Parade. Yes. Yes.